In the past, I've secretly moved into the Pancakes house, but today I'm gonna have them build a granny flat that I'm gonna actually move into. But the catch is, I'm gonna furnish it with stuff from their house. Thanks to the EA Creator Network for making this early access video possible. And as a note, this is not final software, hence my username bouncing around on screen. But if you're not familiar, which I feel like at this point you probably are, this is Bob and Eliza Pancakes. They live here in Willow Creek in this lovely home. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But they've got plenty of room out the back. They also have 20,000 simoleons. So I'm gonna turn their back or part of their backyard into a little house that I can live in. I'm actually gonna get rid of these trees and I'm gonna create a little granny flat, which is basically just a small house, self-contained house with its own kitchen and bathroom that I can actually live in and rent out. And actually that, that fits really well in this spot. We can actually add a, our own little doorway and entrance down the side. Ooh, this actually might be kind of cute. <laughs> so I'm just gonna paint in a little pathway. And now because it's the idea of this is obviously like a new addition, I'm gonna make it look a little different from the rest of their house. Like it, it's something that you can just buy, you know, pre, a prefab home, if you will. So that's gonna be the vibe I'm gonna go for on this. One, uh, <laughs> one problem I am having with the Pancakes house is because their ground floor is actually the medium wall height. It means our little unit at the back is super tall as well. And I think one thing I could do, cause this looks ridiculous by the way, I was experimenting and <laughs> this is so bad. I think what I might actually do is because I can't change the wall height here without changing the entire house, as you can see, what I can do is actually add our whole unit on a platform. So if I add the platform tool here, and let's go up one, two, three, four, this height here is now equal to a regular wall height. It's just the whole thing has to be on a platform, which means I have to do the same thing inside. So the whole thing is kind of raised up. It means we get a smaller looking space, but the walls are still quite tall. So it's still not ideal, but it did feel a little big to me otherwise. And we can use like one of these lattice work platform trims and it kind of makes it look like a little deck out the front, which is kind of cute. And then for privacy from the main house, I've just added a half wall here and a fence there on the side of my porch. So, you know, I have my own private entrance fully coming down the back. I do have to adjust this a little bit now. I'm just going to copy the pancakes landscaping. They just have these hedges and then bushes like that for some reason. So I'm just going to do the same sort of thing. And over here by the front, I'm going to give myself my own mailbox and I'm going to have my own little bin just here in this little bin section. Look at that. Nice. And then what I'll do is I'll just not have any windows like directly viewing into the pancakes area. I mean, I guess we could, but what I was going to do is just have higher up windows, but we'll still have windows on this side anyway, but they won't, you won't be able to really peer into their private space. Having said that, of course we will be breaking into their house, but that's unrelated to the actual, you know, I'm trying to make a nice granny flat too, okay? <laughs> Tell you what, a, a Murphy bed would be so good for this build. Be the perfect use of, of it. Well, I think I'll do the bedroom at the back so we can have the whole back section as a bedroom, nice big windows looking out there. Like that's, that's pretty beautiful. And then we'll do like a small uh, bathroom off to the side. Actually, we could even do like a really small bathroom, like a one by three. Although without the packs, I don't think that'll be fully functional. So I might need to do a little bit of a bigger bathroom. Now items that we can actually steal, I don't believe include beds, kitchen counters, that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure I can take chairs and couches. You know what? We might just have to start playing and see. I don't think you can take stuff like toilets. So, so I think we'll have to see how we go. Maybe I'll just place it, maybe, you know what? Let's just start playing and then we can see what we need to steal. That's probably the way to go. So to turn this into a functional unit, of course, we will jump up over here. We're gonna say residential rental and I'm gonna set Bob and Eliza's rooms as their house. And I guess probably just said, well, I wanna be able to wander around their house without having to load in, you know what I mean? but they do need to have a unit for them to live here as well as me. So maybe I will just set their bedrooms and then everything else I should just be able to get to. Like I can just sort of wander around. You know what, I'll do the whole, I'll just do the upstairs is what I'll do. So to steal from upstairs, I'll have to come to their unit, but downstairs is all gonna be shared. And then over here will be my unit. So that's my unit there. And then the pancakes have upstairs and then we share the downstairs so I can easily steal. Actually, you know what, I that's actually a good point. I have no idea if I can steal from a shared space. This actually might need to be their house to be able to steal from it. Let's find out. So let's go ahead and have a look at the rental unit settings. So I can go up to 80. You know what? I'm gonna charge myself as much money as possible. Why not? Cause I'm gonna be stealing from them anyway. And I'm gonna give myself a 9999 
lease length. And I don't think we want to do any uh, rules because that'll be no good. So I'm going to go ahead and move into this unit. It actually says zero per day and zero furnishings. The lease length did save though. So I don't know what's going on with the rent. Oh no, there we go. It says here. Okay, that's fine. I will. Yeah, you know what? I will get it furnished. I'll take it. Okay, so here is Samaj with the pancakes. I guess I'll say hello. And uh, I have the discerning dweller aspiration, which means I, of course, want to be the perfect tenant. I just happen to also be a kleptomaniac and nosy, unrelated. Now, my question, I have cheated mischief level 10 because the kleptomaniac skill, the higher your skill level is, the more stuff you can steal. Can I steal from the shared space? I don't think so. No. So I don't think any of this stuff I can steal, which is a shame. But if I go into their house, let's go visit the pancakes. Well, well I... I guess we'll just go straight for a break in. Why not? Let's do it. Oh, I guess not. Hang on. I think I have to. There we go. OK, I'm on my way now. Let's go, let's go break in upstairs. There he goes. He's a man on a mission. <laughs> Which is the front door. Oh, this one. OK, you can only break in via the front door. And I guess that's the front door here. OK, I like that Bob and Eliza were just down here. Obviously, they're not anymore because when you do the breaking and entering like event, whoever the Sims are that are living here, they like essentially get kicked out and the game is like, yeah, go for it. Have fun. So now that I'm here, let's see. So I can't, yeah, okay. So I can steal this chair. Oh wait, I didn't break in yet. What the heck? I, I, I didn't even know you could fail. Interesting. No, actually I'm on a different lot now. Can I steal this stuff? No, I still can't. This? No. Okay. So you absolutely cannot steal from a shared space. Good to know. Now right, let me try to break in again. <laughs> Come on, Sapash, put some elbow grease in there. Get in there, dude. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm in. All right, so. And, well, I need to furnish my house. I've got nothing in it. So I guess a chair would be nice. I'll go ahead and grab that. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. <laughs> now I do have to wait. How long do I have to wait here? Four hours. Is there a way in game to clear that? I only have base game and four rent though. I don't know. If there is like a base game way to do it, I think I just have to wait. Well, whilst I'm here, might as well snoop for secrets. See what we can find out about the pancakes. The abandoned Smeagy. Yeah, we've got that a few times. Oh, which by the way, I didn't know this. So the abandoned Smeagy, I think we, we spoke about this in, I want to say maybe the mold video. Uh, one of my recent videos. So Smeagy is actually a reference to a post over on the Sims 4 subreddit from only nine months ago. It's not even that old. So it's actually pretty cool it's in the game. So Chicken Chips said, this dog comes to my cafe and hates me. He haunts me. Who is he? Does he live with any townie Sims or is he just one of the random generated NPCs? <laughs> this, is, this is the dog that was in their game. And I guess it became quite a meme. I and mean, look at his eyes. It's kind of like offset a little bit. And then they later posted Smeagy to the gallery and it says down here, who is he? Where does he come from? What does he want? And then, yeah, this is talking about Smeagy and it references uh, something off about his eyes. His piercing blank stare, it still haunts me. And it is a funny little community reference. So I thought I'd share it. Oh, we learned grim jealousy from Eliza. She likes the grim, which is kind of a little dark. You think about it. Bob better be careful. She thinks uh, Grimm is so elegant. He's well-dressed, mysterious, and he's got just enough skeletons in his closet to keep things interesting for eternity. Ooh. So I've got, oh gosh, I've got two hours left, but I only have 27 minutes left breaking and entering. So I'm gonna have to break in again later. <laughs> There's still more stuff. So what happens at the end? Do they kind of just come back? <gasps> Wait, are they, do they catch me in here? Because Bob is back. Hey, Bob. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I guess he did catch me. So I, I was supposed to leave before that. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I may be getting beat, beat up, but in 50 minutes, I can steal again. We despise each other? Well, I guess you are my landlord. Oh, you know what I could do? Complain about rental conditions. Hey, I just got beat up by my landlord. I'm gonna start a tenant revolt. <laughs> I don't think he liked that. Well, I'm just gonna go over here into the other side. Is that cool? No, you stay in there. No, no, Samaj, don't go back to him. Go over here. No, stop trying to talk to Bob. I don't want to listen to Bob. I'm trying to steal from him. Oh my God, what the heck, Bob? What are you doing? Why am I fighting with Bob again? <laughs> can I steal yet? <laughs> Okay, I got 16 minutes. Okay, Bob's in there. I think I can take a computer, can't I? I can. All right, I just gotta wait. Oh, I think 
Any second now. Oh, hey, Bob. No, he's about to use a computer. Dang it. Okay, well, can I, I can't steal beds. Okay. Can I steal toilets? No. Tubs? No. Yeah, you can't steal any of those kind of appliances. What about, no, I can't steal workout gear. I can't steal that. Okay. Take lamps and I can take decorations. Actually, Bob is using the computer. Can I take this couch? Oh, I can. I'm going to take that. He won't notice. <laughs> oh, God, Eliza. I'm out of here. I'm going home. Hey, Eliza. <laughs> See ya. Go back to my little flat over here. I do like this little side entrance. I think it's really cute. Right. So I have now got a couch. <laughs> well, I've got a couch here and an armchair. And I guess I will get the stuff that we can't steal. So like a toilet and all that. Okay. So I can still steal like other decorations. Can I actually, while I'm here, does it let me add these rooms to other units. Oh, okay, so I have to swap to Bob and Eliza because I, I want to steal from the rest of their house. So I'm gonna have to add all of this to their house, I think. Okay, I'm gonna maybe sleep off this kleptomania stealing thing so we can go back and steal more. So yeah, now the whole Pancakes house is their unit, so we can definitely go in and steal from there. Also, oh, I guess I should probably get kitchen stuff. So I can steal like decor, couches, computer. I'm basically gonna take as much as I can, okay? <laughs> Hello? Who's this? There's some kid at my door. Not now, child. Okay, I can go back to that house and... Oh wait, no, don't visit. Can I just do break in? <laughs> oh, hey Bob. <laughs> Sorry, Bob's going over to my place. I'm gonna go to his. Maybe take a few things, a few little gifts. Alrighty, let's go ahead and break in. Alright, we're back inside again. I can't take that TV, which is a shame. Wait, I can just, <laughs> I can just take that microwave like this. Hang on. <laughs> so with uh, the Home Chef Hustle update, they made it so you could drag appliances, which makes sense if you're doing like the selling table thing. But I guess that means I can just steal people's microwaves pretty easily. So I will do that. I don't actually seem to be able to steal anything at the moment for some reason. I I'm not sure why. Hang on, I could take stuff up here. Yeah, like the armchair, but then this stuff down here, for some reason I can't. I don't know why. I feel like maybe it's like in a weird limbo because I, I changed the lot a few times. Cause I feel like you could steal those TVs. I think if we steal cheaper stuff, the cooldown is shorter, isn't it? Yeah, see, it's only, that's only two hours. Oh gosh, okay, so I've got 24 minutes until Bob gets back, but I have three minutes until I can steal again. I wanna get my second lamp. <laughs> Come on, yes, go, 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 get out. All right, let's go home. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh no, wait, I can't, wait. I guess I can't, I can't travel. I guess I have to get out of that. Maybe I just have to get out of here. Get out of the house. Samaj, get out of there. Faster, please. Go. <laughs> okay, if I quickly like, can I jog or something? No, I, there's no option to jog. I'm not fit enough. Go Samaj, go. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Got myself some new lamps, which is gonna be good because it's getting dark now. You know what's funny? It says, Samaj can't travel because he is working. Yeah, okay, game. I see what you did there. I'm definitely working. All right, let's go to my little toilet. I don't know why these doors are always up now. Even when the walls are down, the doors like don't disappear anymore. I'm not sure the deal with that is. Like my front door is gone, but those two are kind of in the way. Okay, so I will have to buy a kitchen. I don't have to buy a microwave though, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I will need a counter. And I don't think we can steal fridges or anything either. I mean, maybe we can, I might have to try. Anyway, I got some, so, oh, and I don't, yeah, and I think I can steal end tables. So I'll just get a little end table in here and I'm gonna put my lamp on it, my lamp, and I'm gonna put a little lamp there. I just kind of want my house to be, have all of the pancakes furniture in it. That's what I wanna do. Now let's get the microwave out. <laughs> I love that you can just drag that off that counter and put it in here. All right, well, let's make some dinner. Have a garden salad. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Surely there's something I can make in here. Let's have uh, a microwave dinner. There we go. No, 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 microwave dinner. Here we go. And pop it in. Yeah. I'll pop this in my bin outside or, or not. Apparently I can't drag it to the bin. Okay. Mmm, the sweet, sweet taste of free. All right, do you want to clean that up? So maybe clean up this too while you're at it. Oh good, I'm using my bin, I think. Yeah, okay, that works, that's good. And I'm gonna go to sleep and then in the morning, yeah, actually, you know what? No, it's probably a good time to just go steal now. Like, why wouldn't I just go now? <laughs> it's the middle of the night. It's the perfect time. Hello, I'm back. At this point, I should probably just make a copy of their key, to be honest. Here we go. Okay, I'm in again. So I still don't seem to be able to steal stuff from downstairs, which is interesting. I don't know why. It only seems to work upstairs. Oh, I can just take the easel, so I'm gonna do that, thank you. Anything I can drag, I'm just gonna take. 
Any other draggable stuff? Well, I best go get the computer. That's definitely gonna be worth it. I'll be taking this. Thank you. <laughs> Any other draggable stuff? All right. Th yeah, that takes eight hours to cool down after taking a laptop. So I guess we might as well just go home. I'll, uh, I'll guess I'll have to finish work early. Now, I don't think I can steal a desk, so I'll get one of those. Pop the computer on there. I should be able to steal dining chairs though, so... I'm just gonna swap over to the pancakes and play as them, because maybe I just need to play the unit to get it, like, understanding that this is our unit, you know? So now that I'm actually here... Let me just double check in build mode. Yeah, this is definitely all their units, so maybe now it'll work? So I've got, yeah, just a few minutes left. I'm just gonna top up my, my uh, hygiene. Maybe just pop to the... You know what? No, I can do this at their house. That's all right. What am I doing it here for? <laughs> That's, I can shower and eat at their house all I want. I still cannot steal from down here. I don't know what is going on. It's really ruining my plans. Well, I guess I'm gonna work on cleaning out the upstairs. <laughs> so yeah, I can take the, the stuff off the wall, which is good. <laughs> so I'll be taking that. Can I take these chairs? Oh, I can't. Oh, maybe you can't take dining chairs. Maybe it's just armchairs. That's a shame. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these posters now. I mean, these, can't, these aren't worth much. Uh, hopefully I should be able to steal pretty quick. Two hours still? Oh man. All right, well, how much time do I have left here? 57 minutes. I don't actually know if I have time to grab food. <laughs> well, well, at least go to the toilet. How about that? There we are. And I might as well take a quick shower. I got, I got time and I'll head back home. So I got my easel from last time. Oh, put that out here. I also stole a painting that was in progress. Actually, I don't, I can't actually do anything with it. <laughs> I can't even move it. I can sell it for zero, so I'll just do that. Got the nice easel over here. I love how it's just from their balcony and very clearly on my front balcony. Yeah, there's nothing weird about that. Got another lamp, I'll add it to my collection. Oh, and I got a nice poster for my bedroom. There we go. Okay, well I suppose I should make some food. There we go, made a little, what did I make? I made like a pastry. What is that, like a, kind of like a brownie or something? Hmm, nice. Okay, well I, I'm just about ready to steal again, so I guess I'll pop on around. They really should maybe put up some sort of security. It is very easy to get into their house constantly. Grab that poster. No, no, don't view it. <laughs> Grab it, there we go. And I guess whilst I'm here, I might as well do a workout, pass some time. <laughs> I should just start like making stuff here, like go woodworking, making my furniture, just making myself at home. I guess in this sense, we could actually do another, I secretly lived in the pancakes house, cause I actually might be able to. I can probably spend enough time here to get my needs up, so. We craft the sculpture? Why not? We'll get working on it. And I can do another- Oh my gosh, I've got like, wait, three minutes and- Oh god, they're both on three minutes. I gotta- hang on, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I can't- I can't stay here, I gotta go, I gotta go. And uh, now that I successfully left, should we just go in again? I don't think there's a limit. All right, we're back in again. All right, let me go get that thing I was gonna see. I'm just gonna clear out room by room. We'll get that uh, the sword and shield off the wall. That's four hours, that one. So that's definitely too long. Well, I need to have some social. So maybe I should, uh, oh, you there. Oh, I can't talk to you. I think I have to leave this. Most important things first. Let's add the rest of my collection. Thanks, Bob. Or Eliza. I don't know whose room that was. Either way, there's some issues there for sure. <gasps> Wait, I can drag the barbecue. <laughs> Okay, I guess I will. There we are. Add it to my porch. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I can just like, because they've updated the way that that works, can I just go to this house and take their barbecue? Does anyone live here? No, no one lives there. And all these houses are empty, so I don't think I can steal from them. All right, so Marge is back in again. I just, I like to check every time if I can steal from downstairs and I don't seem to be able to. Well, I'll go steal this piece of art from in here. And then I think that's everything I can steal. Oh no, I can steal that chair. Okay, I should get that. How long was that? Four hours? Uh, I don't have enough time to steal anything else. Well, I guess I'll go to the toilet here again. Yeah. Have a shower. Maybe make a little snack or something down here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just like gonna make the biggest mess. There we are. Yeah, I still got time. We got like an hour and a half left. I do like the idea of just being in Bob and Eliza's house and just helping myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the life to see. And I also like the idea of just leaving a mess everywhere, the plate. <laughs> It is overall not a good time for them. But I suppose I'll go home. And I get my new picture up in the living room maybe. That'll be nice. Yeah, that's good. I want to figure out this downstairs thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move out. I'm going to turn this back into a regular residential lot. Okay, so all this furniture is still here. <laughs> I like how it says it's still stolen. I don't know if the, like, the stolen thing will remain with the way I'm doing this, but I'm turning it back to their house. I'm going to save, go to Manage Worlds. And I'm going to reset up the unit system and make their whole house a unit from the start. Because I think 
somewhere along the way where I did the half unit thing upstairs definitely confused it. So I'm gonna say residential rental and this time from the start, I'm gonna select their whole downstairs as the unit as well. And also their upstairs, of course. And then of course this one is my unit or this is the second unit. And I wanna try this again. Hopefully now we can use the bottom space. So good news, I can actually still say return stolen objects. So they are successfully still stolen. Now let me try breaking into the pancakes again. <laughs> okay, this time, I can't steal? Why can't I steal their downstairs stuff? I should be able to. Very strange. Maybe that's unrelated to the rental. Because I can still steal upstairs. Obviously I can't at the moment, I've got the cooldown. New plan. Okay, so I now live on this empty plot next door. And this is a regular house. I'm gonna say break in. Okay, if I still can't steal from downstairs. Okay, yeah, there's just something weird going on. I can't, I cannot steal stuff from downstairs in this house. And there's no reason for that. If I do the free build cheat, what happens if I just put this upstairs? No, I still can't steal it. That's so weird, but if this is down here, I can steal it? Yeah. Huh. I'm very confused about what I can steal and what I can't. Cause I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, plan C, I'm just gonna move stuff into my unit and we're gonna steal it. I just wanna have, I just wanna have the whole pancakes furniture in here. Now it's obviously not gonna work cause it's <laughs> gonna be too much. But like, I wanna take their fridge and everything, you know? A little coffee, or oh, their tea machine, their bin. I just want everything like shoved into my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> table. Oh, you know what? This, this would be good having tool mod. So you could like stack stuff up. Let's get the TV. We definitely want that. Okay, well art on the wall should be relatively easy. I think we got enough wall space. I'm gonna get all the art. The pancakes have a lot of like repetitive uh, wall art and I'm just putting them all on my walls wherever they fit, so. <laughs> oh, we can definitely take rugs as well. Does it, wait, does this even fit in my place? I don't, oh, actually it can here. I don't know how much of this stuff I can even physically fit in here without it completely being overwhelmed. I mean, quite clearly it already is, but I feel like, you know, that, that seems like you could squish this in. Not that you'd want to, of course. I don't know why I find this so funny. <laughs> but something about just having all the pancakes furniture in this one room. <laughs> I'm doing as much as I can, but I, I think we're we're kind of there at the limit. Why is the toilet roll in the pancakes house above the toilet? Am I the only one that, that just noticed that? I'm gonna take that. It's gonna go above my toilet. Here we go. Lovely. Oh my gosh, look where this one is. What is going on in this house? Why are the toilet paper rolls so high? Yeah, I'll put it on the side up high, just like in the other one. I, I think that's good, you know. There's still some stuff left. Oh, maybe the curtains I could take, at least some of them. Yeah, go in that window, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, let's turn this into a residential rental. So <laughs> just like before, this is gonna be their house and this will be my house. There we are. I don't know if I can move around here. I wanna see if we can make that happen. I'm gonna set this as my balcony so hopefully they won't use this barbecue, which quite frankly, if she's actually using that, that's pretty impressive that that works. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? I'm gonna enthuse about the thrill of the steel. There's nothing. Nothing uh, weird going on at my you know what are you talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. I like kind of love this. I love that we have this pinky purple light as well that's just giving us a glow. Alright, can I get in here? I might need to rearrange some furniture here. Okay, I can walk in. Wait, can I get around this? Oh, okay, no. No, I, I didn't think so. If I just move this chair to that side, is that all I need? <gasps> Wait, this actually might be a functional house. Functional. Have dinner. Oh, I still don't really have any counter space. I can't really make much, but that's okay. If I do microwave dinner. Oh, I can't get to the fridge. Fair enough. Well, if I just actually swap the microwave and the, the fridge, this will probably work. I don't think I need to change anything out. I'll move this picture so it's not getting squished. Like this actually might work now. Okay, I can get to the fridge. Can I get to the microwave? I can. Dude, we can live in this monstrosity. I suspect I should be able to sit on like at least one of these chairs. Let's see. Can I like sit here? Can I, do I sit and eat maybe? Hmm, I have a feeling maybe, maybe we can't sit and eat. Well, he put the plate there. Wait, we can. He just chose not to. Okay, so that works. I think I can watch TV. I guess that's not really a good viewing chair. Can I sit on this one and watch? Oh yeah, there you go. Look, what's wrong? This is great. This is the best house I've ever built. I love my. I think one of my favorite things is all the different like lamps and uh, and plants just on the dining table. Okay, can I get to the bedroom though? Well, actually, can I get to the bathroom because the door is kind of blocked? Hang on, let's see. Okay, the toilet works. That's good. I think that's all fine. And I don't see why I couldn't get in here. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Can I play chess? Oh. Can't, I can't get around the corner. Okay, hang on. Let's figure out this mess. Cause I think if this is, yeah, it's gonna have to be, I think that's gonna have to be here. I want to move this mirror. I could probably squish the mirror. 
up against this wall next to the bed and have this here, right? And I can put that there and I should actually be able to get to that dining chair now. Let's see, can I play this? No. Can I play on the computer? I can. Okay, so the computer works, but because I can't get next to the chair, I can't get to the chest table. Okay, I just move it over a little bit so it overlaps a bed a bit, which it's not actually clipping into it at all. That might work. Yeah! And can I practice speech on this mirror? No, I can't, but we do have mirrors in the bathroom that I can, so I, I'm not too worried about that. Can I still get to the bed or is that broken now? Oh, I can! Dude, this whole, this ridiculous pancakes granny flow. It's working. What is it? What is this worth, by the way? <laughs> Out of curiosity. My 50 tile granny flat is worth more than their house because it's got all their stuff in it. Well, I think I'll leave this video here. Thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. And of course, to all my members for supporting the channel. This is what it would look like if we could steal every item in game. And also if we could steal from downstairs for some reason. I don't know why we couldn't. Let me know in the comments if I was doing something wrong. But I think if we had all the packs, we could probably use a combination of different techniques of taking items to actually do this. I think it's possible. We probably need some mods maybe, because if you can clear the klepto trait like uh, cooldown, then you're gonna be in business. You're gonna be in business. Also actually breaking in and stealing, dumpster diving, and like just filling your house with all that kind of stuff. So much fun. It's always a good time. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below and have an awesome day.